This video is brought to you by Clint Newell Auto Group. Head coach Thurman Bell is revving up for another group of hardworking Roseburg Indians in his 43rd season as head coach at RHS. He's looking forward to returning players who can make up for some of last year's shortcomings. Last year we were hoping to play seven on seven game early in the season because uh, we were really thin at linemen and we ended up starting three sophomores and, and a junior in the offensive line. And it took us a long time to get going, but toward the end of the season, those guys came on. This year, now the advantage, good news, is they're back. And they're much more experienced, and that's really helping us. He says numbers are decent this year in the program. There's about 68, 70 kids out here, sophomores, juniors, and senior, another 45 with the freshmen. So there's, a, there's enough kids out here. You could have 100, but we need some quality ones. And, and we're, we're trying to find them out during doubles like every other team. Bell talks about the strengths of this year's club. Cody Walker returns at, uh, as a backup quarterback last year, so he has a lot of experience, and uh, he moves right into that spot. He's very athletic, can throw the ball. We picked up a transfer in Noah Avery uh, from Sutherland, who worked out every day all summer and learning the system. A little behind, but he, he's getting it, getting much better, and he's going to be, uh, I think, a force on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, right now we're just trying to find our best bodies and find positions for them and get them out on the field. Well, last year our offensive line wasn't as, like, experienced and stuff, and we had a rough start with the line. But near the end of the year we got it going, our offense started going, and we started winning games. Yeah, we feel pressure this year to start out better than we did last year, just try to get the running backs and quarterbacks getting more reads and runs and longer yards. The Southwest will be as tough as ever for the Indians, who will look to improve over last year's fifth place conference finish. Different year, same story. Okay, uh, Sheldon just keeps reloading. I mean, they have a, uh, a lot of great athletes there and they're doing a great job and great coaching. They do a good job. And uh, so uh, hopefully somebody can knock them off, but Grant's pass is supposed to be greatly improved. They have the most experience yeah. coming back of anyone in the conference. So it'll be a dogfight. Senior quarterback Cody Walker is looking forward to the challenge of replacing a good group of seniors who graduated last year. Last year I felt like we had some unfinished business that we needed to settle and this year's going to be a good chance for us to do that. Last season we had like six wins. Um, this season we we're definitely hoping for more, you know. We, we got our line, it's everybody's returning on our line, so our line's really experienced. We're a real close family, everybody's real close to each other. That's what I love about it, like our linemen's real close to everybody, we just we're ready to go. We don't have many weak links in our offense or defense, so I think we'll be pretty solid all, all the way around. It feels pretty good, but just like Cody said, we're trying to win games one by one, just go after that and see where it takes us. One major change at Roseburg is the changes in the coaching staff after the exit of some longtime assistants. We've had a, a bunch of super uh, loyal people. And uh, in the off season, we have four guys that are going to be gone off the varsity staff, and uh, for various reasons, a couple of retirements. And uh, I looked, California interviewed in the off season, a lot of guys from uh, Oregon. And when it came right down to it, the best coaching for our program were our guys that were already here on the freshman. So I'm moving up Scott, Scott Lovemark, who's going to be uh, our defensive coordinator. Moved up Tim Sister, who's been in the program. Richie Charles, both those guys been in the program forever. They're going to be moving up along with uh, Brian Groshong, who's been basically in the elementary, or excuse me, the junior high program and uh, has done an awesome job there. He knows our program. He deserves to be involved in, with us. We want one game at a time. It's right now we got South or South Salem, and we're ready to go. We're starting to work on them, and that's our goal right now. Well, right now I think they're picking us about number four, number five in a conference. Obviously, we will not be satisfied for that. I think we can be better than that. In Roseburg, I'm Jason Hink reporting.